Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the heart of Markness. I can't think of anything else to say. Uh, episode 154. Can you believe it? We have a legacy now. And today's topic is, brace yourself, Led Zeppelin, Tampa, Florida, 1970. When 1970? Uh, April 9th, 1970. You think I didn't know that? I knew that. And this is a, uh, we're listening to a two-source mix, Dogs of Doom, back uh, almost a year ago, released a second source of this show that had some of the missing songs, because as you may or may not know, the, the previously uh, sole source that we had didn't start until Bring It On Home. And now we've got We're Gonna Groove, Dazed, and a little bit of Heartbreaker. So we have essentially almost the whole show. And more than we had, and we are grateful, as always, to those lovable scamps and the Dogs of Doom for tracking down new sources and then just liberating them. Isn't that nice? Other people make money off it. Boy, this mic is hot. Hot mic tonight. Let's turn that down a touch. Holy shit. Okay, how's that? That's a little better. Um, yeah. So I, I actually had another <laughs> show set to go, but it was another 75 show, and it was uh, a Dario Romero remaster, and you know how much I love his remasters. But then I realized it's three 75 shows in a row, and or three 75 episodes in a row, and that's kind of... So breaking it up a little, going back to 1970, Tampa, 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 next week I'll probably do the 75 show, or I'll throw it on a weekend or something in any case. It'll be fine. We'll all be fine. So let's get started, shall we? Here we go. This is, of course, Led Zeppelin and their U.S. 1970 tour before Zeppelin 3 came out, I believe. Let me look up when that came out. Well, I'll look that up while you listen, because you don't need to listen to me looking when I can look while you listen. Right? Right? It's like whistling while you work, but you don't. You just do it the other way. All right, friendos. We're going to start with uh, good old We're Gonna Groove. Not one that I play often because I don't really like it that much. <laughs> but, you know, trying to mix it up, and I realize that some of you may like things that I don't like. I can't I can't understand how that would be possible, that I, I have to allow an infinite universe to... Uh, you know, to have infinite possibilities. So I guess some of you may like things that I don't like, which I don't like, but whatever. We're going to groove. This is the second source, the Dog of Doom, Dogs of Doom Liberation. This was back in April of 2021. Uh, this particular source. And uh, what do we got? Yeah, we're going to groove. Let's hop to it. Show opener. 1970, they didn't do it for very long, so it's nice to hear it. In joy, friends. <laughs>
what a different band from 1975 or 77 or even 73. They were just out there flexing their talent, flexing their technique, their ability, their tightness, their virtuosity. Jimmy just mm, magnificent and all wrapped up in just a short, normal length song. Be beautiful. All right. Well, we've got a little bit. Hey, I guess what I didn't do. I didn't look up when Zeppelin 3 came out, so I'll have to do that next time. Sorry, I was into the music, man. Um, I am going to play Heartbreaker. There's only two minutes of it. Like I said, it's just a fragment. It does not even the, the solo. But since maybe you hadn't heard it before, since it had only come out a year ago, and maybe you haven't caught up with the new source yet, um, I figured I'd just give it a whirl. And uh, yeah, fuck it. Heartbreaker, right? Really interesting beginning, too. Really cool beginning to the song. Not one that I, I don't think I've heard before. So enjoy it, and I'll be back in literally a couple minutes. It's a bummer that it just ends, but at least we got that much. It's neat, some neat stuff there, some neat phrasing, some neat stuff that I hadn't heard Jimmy play before. Now, I don't listen to every single Zeppelin show, and the ones that I have listened to were mostly listened to 20 years ago. So maybe I've heard it before, maybe I haven't. I don't know, but that seems new to me. Uh, the technique, I know this recording is new to me, but you know that particular uh, iteration of Heartbreaker, as much as I heard. Well... Since that one doesn't really count as a song, let's go into uh, Since I've Been Loving You. And uh, Zeppelin III was released in October of 1970, so this is six months before that. And uh, Since I've Been Loving You is still not, it's still not in its final form. I mean, it basically is, but it's, it's you know, it still needs some time in the oven. You stick a, you stick a toothpick in the middle and it still comes out wet. But it is really interesting to hear and just the virtuosity of these Young, young men, 21 years old, Bonzo and Robert at this juncture. Jesus, unbelievable. All right, friends, since I've been loving you and then I'll be back and you, uh, you'll get one more. So cause shit, we're only 12 minutes into this. Wow. I am just, this is a rushed one. I don't know why. I just don't have a lot to babble about. It's cause you're not stoned yet. Yeah, maybe, maybe I am not. That's true. But that doesn't mean the music isn't awesome, and Since I've Been Loving You is going to make you really happy. I hope. You know, you listen to this podcast, so one would hope it would. All right, friends, and this is from Source 1. So we're going to have a change in quality, a little more dynamics, a little more ebb and flow, a little more frequency response, and it's a quieter recording as well. So enjoy it, friends, and I'll be back in about eight minutes. Thank you. 
Absolute sublimity. Man, I love Jimmy's 1970 tone. U.S. tour 1970 tone cannot go wrong. Jesus Christ. Love it. Now, um, since this is a very short podcast with just these three songs and Heartbreaker was just a stub, I'm adding another tune to the mix and uh, I want to make it nice and worth your while. So it's going to be how many more times? This is one that has been out. This is, again, from that same source, one that's been out forever. This is not new, but it is pretty badass. It's how many more times from 1970. 20 minutes of improvisational mayhem and medleys, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. But first, we have the spiel. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube under the name Heart of Markness. The, on Facebook, it's a it's a group of a couple hundred people who are really, really nice, really, really cool, really, really love live music, and Led Zeppelin especially. It's a great place to hang out. You're welcome to join up, and I hope you do. And say howdy if you do. There's some good people there, as I've said. Twitter is Twitter, and YouTube is just another venue for the release of the podcast. You've already found the podcast if you want to listen to it on YouTube when at work or something. Have at it. And if you like what I do and you like how I do it and you're of a mind and have the means with which to do so, you are invited to explore the possibility of becoming a patron of this fine podcast by going to patreon.com slash heart of Markness or hitting the Patreon button on my website, which is heartofmarkness.com, which is where I post not only the podcasts, but the links to the complete shows that I cover. So you'll be able to download this concert, the Two Source Mix, Merge, rather, um, from heartofmarkness.com. Anytime you want. I'm going to put it up tonight after I get this podcast covered, and it'll be there. And you can grab it. Isn't that nice? Yes. And these are currently the Titans Upon Whose Shoulders 
rests this humble podcast. These are the people who are the patrons that pay for the hosting, that pay for SoundCloud, Mega, the cloud storage, pay for the website itself, etc., etc. And blessings be upon them. It really, really helps and really, really matters. So a laurel and hearty handshake go out to Jeff from Canada. Glynn, Stephen, George, Big Ed, Kenny, John from West Footscray, Picard, Knegarn, Chris, Rob from Melbourne, Australia, Wayne, Brad, Danielle, Tracy, David, Other David, Bonzo Billy, and Mimo. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, my friends, for really helping me make this happen. Couldn't do it without you. 100% true. Love you, love you, love you. Moving along. Let's listen to this how many more times, right? We're 23 minutes in, and we've got about 23 minutes left to go. So uh, I think that makes a decent episode. Plus, fuck, it's how many more times from 1970 in good quality. Enjoy it, brothers and sisters. We're going to get everybody as loose as humanly possible.
Well, hell, you can't ask for more than that. I know there were dropouts and things in the recording, but it's a 52-year-old amateur recording. What else can you want? Yes, I'm talking over the band, but I'm fading it out because I'm using hot tech. I'm trying to up my game. <laughs> well, we got it, folks. There you go. 46 minutes in. Almost come, almost 47. Ah, that's a podcast. All right, guys. I am going to dip out of here and eat my dinner and do my laundry and et cetera, et cetera. And I will... Uh, I am going to see my family this weekend, but I, I'm coming home Saturday because um, I'm building a computer or upgrading a work computer that I was gifted to make it a nice modest gaming computer for my daughter. And I have the graphics card coming in this Saturday. Uh, and I'm going to put it together. So I, I, I may do a podcast this weekend. I, I endeavor to of a classic rock nature. And um, yeah, so you'll hear from me this weekend probably. Or if not, then definitely next Thursday for more Zeppelin. And uh, oh yeah, if you guys ever want to reach me and you don't want to reach me on any of the 8 million ways I told you, you can reach me. You can always reach me at mark at heartofmarkness.com. Call and I will be there. All right, friendos. It's much better than messaging me on Facebook because unless we're friends, it doesn't show up as a message until I go into the spam or whatever that is, the unsolicited messages, which are all, you know, Nigerian princes or Russian women who are madly in love with me somehow. So that's the way to do it, buddy. All right. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you're good to yourselves, and please be good to yourselves and each other. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.